Episode 24, Why Did You Kiss Me? Bryce had been silently observing Natalie. He was surprised to find that he was concerned about this woman. Originally, he had planned to tell his men to bring her back after the business deal was concluded. Thinking of this, he withdrew his gaze and continued to talk business with his friends. He couldn't help but find it funny. Since when had he cared so much about her? At the other end of the table, Natalie didn't know that Bryce was here. Although she was sitting next to Mr. Wilson, she was too distracted planning her escape. At that moment, a waiter came to deliver some dishes. Natalie saw an opportunity and immediately got up and knocked over the table. The dishes scattered all over the place with a loud crash, and everything immediately descended into chaos. Tom's two lackeys ran over to grab Natalie, but she threw a bowl of soup at them, and they stopped. Tom reacted at once and called his other men to block her escape. He was infuriated. He planned to punish her severely when he would catch her. Natalie, of course, was not stupid. She had expected her father to do this. So she grabbed hold of the waiter and asked anxiously, how do I get to the back door? Shocked by her panicked expression, the waiter hurriedly pointed the way, seeing that the bodyguards were coming for her. She didn't have time to thank him. She sprinted away. There were no guards at the back door, but she didn't dare to slow down until she reached the road. She wanted to stop a cab, but there wasn't even the shadow of a car anywhere in sight. She quickly became extremely anxious. Even though it was June, she broke out in a cold sweat. If she was caught this time, her punishment wouldn't be as simple as marrying that old man. A Cadillac suddenly stopped in front of her, blocking her way. It was obvious that the car had stopped for her. Natalie thought that her father had sent people after her, so she stared at the car with a pale face and forgot to run. The car window slowly rolled down, revealing Bryce's grave expression. All he said was, get in. Knowing that her father and his men would catch up to them soon, Natalie didn't have time to think. She opened the car door and got in. The driver stepped hard on the accelerator and the car sped away. Natalie looked back with lingering fear. She saw her father's men run out into the road behind them, but the car sped off and left them far behind. It wasn't until they were completely out of sight that she managed to breathe again. She turned around and smiled gratefully at Bryce. Thank you. Bryce nodded, but didn't say anything. From the moment she had gotten into the car, his eyes had never left her. He hadn't realized before that this woman was so stubborn. Unconsciously, he started to develop a whole new level of respect for her. Under his gaze, Natalie felt a little uncomfortable. She covered up her embarrassment by coughing lightly and said, <clears throat> I will uh, get out just up here. I don't want to trouble you too much. Now that she had finally escaped, the most important thing was to find Liam. As for Bryce, she would definitely pay him a visit before she left. She still didn't know where her son was, and the more she thought about it, the more anxious she became. Her heart was filled with hatred for her family. She clenched her fists, and a sharp pain shot through her hand. Spreading her palms open, she frowned. Only then did she realize that her hands had been scalded, and the surrounding skin was inflamed. She must have accidentally burned herself when she flipped the table, but she wasn't in the mood to care. She was about to close her hand again when Bryce, who was sitting beside her, quickly grabbed it. His closeness stunned her, and for a moment she forgot to resist. You're hurt, he said, and instructed the driver, go to the hospital. Natalie quickly pulled her hand back with an unnatural flush on her cheeks and said, you don't have to take me to the hospital. Take me to the hotel if you don't mind. I'm going to find Liam. When she mentioned Liam, she finally lost control of her emotions and her eyes reddened slightly. Bryce pulled back his hand. He could still feel Natalie's warmth on his fingertips. He had never felt anything like this before. Conflicted, he turned his gaze away to hide his emotions and ignored what she had said. Driver, hurry up and go to the hospital, he repeated. Natalie was so angry that she couldn't take it anymore. At that moment, she forgot that Bryce had just saved her and she yelled at him, what are you doing? I said, I'm not going to the hospital. I want to go back to the hotel. My son is lost. He disappeared two days ago. Thinking about Liam, she felt unbearably sad. She was about to say something else to make him let her go when Bryce lowered his face cautiously toward her 
and kissed her lips. Natalie's eyes opened wide as she looked at the handsome figure in front of her. Her mind was blank. She could not react. Bryce was also stunned by what he had done. He had been thinking that he wanted to stop her shouting, but he hadn't known that he would do something as outrageous as kiss her. He quickly came to his senses. Pulling away from her, he said, Finally, you're quiet. Natalie's face turned red once again. For a moment, she forgot about her argument with him. All she could think about was the kiss. Why had he kissed her, she asked him. Bryce raised his eyebrows. He still didn't show any emotion as he said indifferently, It was just a way to shut you up. You're too loud. It was annoying. Natalie's face immediately flushed red, but this time it was out of anger. What kind of person was he? He was infuriating, but he had also saved her, and she was worried about Liam, so she couldn't be bothered with him just then. The car soon arrived at the hospital. Natalie went straight inside to get her hands bandaged. Bryce waited in the car for a long time. He didn't know what was going on. Natalie left the hospital as soon as she could. The hot weather made her wounds sting, so she got some painkillers. When she was finally able to leave, she was surprised to see that the conspicuous car was still there. <laughs> 